Warning. Channel Robozoid contains adult language, adult content, strong opinions, and verbal brutality. Viewer discretion is advised. I am honored to be a part of this group. It is a long-standing affinity group that um, has grown in recent years here in Boston and Massachusetts. If you know, think of the Con Congressional Black Caucus or the Black and Latino uh, elected officials at the Legislative Caucus at the State House, this is one that spans all levels of government and um, is a space for the caucus represent communities. There are many, many such coalitions that exist and each one should have their own space to connect and build and do that work and, and um, holiday season is a great time just to get together and enjoy each other's company as well. Um, I'm proud to host many, many of these across all different types of coalitions. So, um, you know, within City Hall, this really isn't, uh, you know, it was a, a one of those emails that We've all sent at one point or another, um, but it hasn't really generated much back and forth because there are many other events that everyone has been invited to in all different forms and groups and coalitions. Did anybody ever tell this broad that inclusion does not mean excluding white people? No, I guess not. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Well, you know, what's going on? Hello, how you doing? How are things going? How's life treating you? K pasa, K what you call your pasa? What's going down? What it is? This is I, your not so lovable but likable, intolerable curmudgeon of the YouTube airwaves, the Robozoid. And what a story we have for you today! I mean, here we are in 2023, still making up new Jim Crow laws. Only this time it works in reverse, as it's white people who are now the ones not allowed in certain places. Uh, it seems that what you've got going on here is Boston Mayor Michelle Wu has decided she's throwing a Christmas party. Uh, the only thing is, white people are not included. Nope, no white people are invited to this party. Uh, only people of her own racial background, blacks, Hispanics, uh, other Asians, uh, whatever. People who are probably black, brown, purple, yellow, uh, red, green, blue, but certainly not white. They're not invited. No way. Never mind the fact that, well, there are actually a lot of white people who do work for the Boston mayor. Take a look at these stats. But evidently, this Christmas party that Mayor Wu was going to throw, well, it only it only represented it was only representative of every other uh, racial group except whites. Yes, they were excluded, and as you can see here by the staff roster that she uh, up here, well, she does actually ha have quite a few white people working on her staff, and they're not invited to her party. I mean, WTF is that all about? I mean, Jesus, lady, you just exposed yourself for the based racist that you truly are. No, triggered racist, since based would be our side. Seems like, why can't they just have a, you can have a party to celebrate the, the strides people of color have made in all facets of Did life. Did I mention I don't like that phrase? That, like, everyone can attend. Okay. Okay. We should all take that under advisement. And we should never have any um, specific uh, parties or events to celebrate any discrete groups, not veterans, not people with physical uh, impairments, not uh, people who are celebrating a St. Patrick's Day. The handicapped, who are they? Not any, any discrete groups should ever have separate holiday parties or events in addition to the ones that are holistically celebrated. Do you, do you think a whites only holiday party would generate some kind of backlash? I think, I suspect a, that it I think would. a I think a Hanukkah event that had only white people Those or are a Celtic event that only based events not based on skin color. We live in That's a because white people are Jewish. That has created a legal tiered hierarchy of um, a racist de jure system uh, for the majority of the time that the country has existed. 
only in, since my parents have been alive has that de jure system of segregation and apartheid with different laws for different people because of how they look been ended. And as a consequence, a lot of social and economic barriers still exist for people who are from those historically marginalized groups. Not because we came to America. That's and another term I hate, marginalized because groups. Because the laws of this country told us that we were. How have we now formed community groups, solidarity groups, legal advocacy groups, and social groups to advocate for... The only reason the term marginalized groups even exists is because it's people like her who take it upon themselves to marginalize themselves. We have another new controversy at Boston City Hall. This time it involves a party invitation that was accidentally sent to all city councilors, even though not all of them were invited. ABC 10's Eli Rosenberg joining us live from City Hall with a closer look at what happened here. Eli? Corey Boston, Mayor Michelle Wu says this party has been held for more than a decade without any issues. All the city council members, as you mentioned, were invited to the party, which is going on right now, only to have that invitation rescinded for some. I'm going to leave these in And guess who some? The last scheduled Boston City Council meeting of the year, a festive atmosphere. There were gifts, smiles, and group pictures. But also tension over a holiday party not everyone on the city council was invited to. I don't get offended. You don't want me at a party. I'm not going to come to a party. So, you know. A party. It started with this email sent out by a city staffer on Tuesday. Anybody with an accent like that is not going to take offense to anything. ...to an electeds of color holiday party on Wednesday night. About 15 minutes later, the same staffer sending out an email apologizing for sending out the invite to all city councilors. The mayor saying the party is just intended for minority elected officials. There are many, many events that are private events for all different sorts of groups. And ah, I love your long time. Bring pot soy. It's good for you. Dozens of opportunities to celebrate the holidays together. The mayor says the electeds of color holiday party has been held for more than a decade and there's never been an issue. Oh, by the way, YouTube, if you have a problem with that, piss off. Before this. The two city councilors attending the event, defending the party. It's not at all divisive. It's creating spaces for people and communities and identities with shared experiences to come together. I think somebody wanted to make You this are a plan. terrible liar. I succeeded. I have two microphones in my face asking me about an annual holiday party that we have uh, and whether or not I should, you know, care about their feelings that there's a holiday party for people of color that they weren't invited to because they don't share those experiences. But Frank Baker attending his last scheduled city council meeting says the party sends a wrong These message. These idiots aren't even for offended. Long by inviting. Puppets. I think holidays is a time for people, everybody to get together. So we'll see what happens the way it goes. I do find it divisive, but, you know, what are you, you going to do about it? Yeah, I mean, I'm not offended, but why should I care? I'm not going to go to the party anyway. Besides, there's a whole bunch of other parties I could be going to than this weirdo. I guess that's what he's saying, but nevertheless, let's face it. Every time the left say that they're all for inclusion and diversity and everyone should and no one should feel singled out and we all got to come together, blah, 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 blah. You know it's bullshit. You know it's all obfuscation. You might as well plug your ears when they tell you it's all about diversity because it's not true. I mean, obviously, this Massachusetts mayoral bitch uh, decided she was going to throw a party for, uh, for Christmas that was not going to include uh, people who have my skin color. I mean, she was going to throw a party exclusively only for people of color. But getting back to what I was just starting to say here, it's all about my diversities, all about my inclusions, when quite frankly, these are the same people who don't give a damn about inclusion, who care nothing about diversity. Diversity is actually a code word for division. That's all it really means. You know, to quote Dana Lash here, I mean, obviously, obviously here, Michelle Wu has never heard of the term e pluribus unum which basically means out of many, one. I mean, the whole idea of that is that e pluribus unum is an inclusive thing. It basically means that it's kind of a way of saying, well, if you're a foreigner coming to this country, let's say you come from, uh, let's say you come from, well, you pick a country, and well, you assimilate and you adapt to our culture, not meaning that you have to give up your own culture, but 
but you, as long as you adapt to our culture, you are an American citizen, then you are an American. I mean, you'll never be able to go to France and adapt to their culture and suddenly be a French citizen. You'll never be able to go to, uh, let's say, the Yucatan and suddenly be a Mexican citizen. You'll never, uh, well, just on and on and on, all those examples. But that's just the truth. You know, you can, if you're a foreigner who's looking to come to this country, and learn to adapt to our ways without without compromising or giving up your own, um, then you can be an American citizen. E pluribus unum. Out of many, one. So really, we're all one as we live as American citizens. But apparently that idea is lost on Michelle Wu. Let's just say that I were a member of Michelle Wu's staff, uh, but I wouldn't come to her party anyway, even if I wasn't invited because of my skin color. I wouldn't go anyway because, well, to quote the great Groucho Marx, I wouldn't want to be a member of any club that would have me. You know, because what, what would I do at a Christmas soiree? I barely get along with other people, so <laughs> I'm not the social type. So what the hell would I be doing there in the first place? So no, even if I were a member of her staff, I still wouldn't go. I just tell her, sorry, Michelle, I just don't feel up to going to your parties. Besides, your, your hors d'oeuvres suck. But let's just say the reverse was true. What if a, an elected official who happened to be Republican, who was white, uh, was throwing a Christmas party that would not include blacks? I imagine there would be some kind of response. Because, you know, it doesn't work that way in reverse. I mean, you can be a black politician, a Hispanic or Asian politician, in the case of Michelle Wu, but, uh, and still not invite white people to your Christmas party. No one will say a word about it. But if you're a white politician, a Republican white politician, oh my God, the outcry. You just never hear the end of it. I mean, it's hypocrisy at its absolute worst. And once again, it kind of plays back to that uh, video that I posted yesterday, which of course was the, uh, the whole double standard thing. If it wasn't for double standards, Democrats would have no standard standards at all. And you know it. But that's just an absolute fact. If a Republican who was white was throwing the same type of Christmas party for the for his white staff, but no one in the blacks, but none of his black staffers uh, who were not invited. Yeah, you can imagine the bitching and shouting and screaming and pissing and moaning and crying that would be going on from the lamestream media now, can't you? The truth is, like getting back to what I just said, this woman clearly has never heard of the term e pluribus unum, out of many, one. And everything that I had just said about how a foreigner coming to this country who works hard uh, to be an American citizen can adapt and eventually become an American citizen without having to compromise their old traditions. But apparently that's lost on this uh, psychopath idiot like Michelle Wu. God exists, I know this to be true. But if God, but if God has a sense of humor, which I think he does, this woman will likely be sharing a sauna in the netherworld with all the other race hustlers and diversity, equity, and inclusion hypocrite liars uh, in the afterlife with only one thermostat. Let this be a sermon that I mean every word I've ever said here, because, yeah, this woman obviously is not as an anti-Semite, probably, because she also hates whites. And getting back to that one news clip that we saw, well, the majority of Jews are white because, I don't know, unless you interracially married uh, between a Jewish person and a black person, well, then you're probably half black and half Jewish, like that schmuck Lenny Kravitz, that loser with no talent, who can't play anything but pseudo-reggae. But uh, really, the point here is the chick doesn't know anything about e pluribus unum. Out of many, one. So that's just the main poop on that whole thing. I mean, a Christmas and in such a, in such 
an exclusive Christmas party uh, where it's like, oh, whites aren't invited because they don't understand what it's like to be the minority. Does it really interest me what it's like to be part of the minority? No, it doesn't. So this has been the Robozoid saying, yeah, this, exclu this exclusionary Christmas party is hypocritical nonsense coming from the party that uh, preaches all about diversity, equity, and inclusion, when realistically, they don't practice what they preach. They don't believe a word of what they say. They never did. And you know something? They never will. This has been the Robozoid saying, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, then smash that like button and also subscribe to this channel. It's good for this channel. It helps me out. It helps you out. You're not going to regret it. You're going to get the best source of information you possibly can get that you're never going to get from Dr. Optimism or Happy Hoodie. Also, remember that wokeness is weakness, something that this idiot, Michelle Wu, has not figured out yet. Also, there's strength and there's strength in numbers. And also, we got to have that power back to the people, not the power to the politicians, the power to the people. And remember, of course, also, that we need to have that power to the music in the streets. And that is the sound of our music, <laughs> the sound of our voices, excuse me, the sound of our voices in utter and total revolt. Peace. Or should I say peace on earth?